Welcome students. Today let's learn how to measure slope of a given straight line. Let's look at the meaning of term slope. Slope basically measures the steepness of the line and we denote this by letter M. Slope also means a rise divided by the run. Rise means change in y coordinates while run means the change in x coordinates. So that means the slope of a line is defined as the change in y coordinates divided by the corresponding change in x coordinates between two distinct points on the given line. For this let's consider this diagram. Over here there are two points which are having coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 respectively. And we are aware that slope is simply rise over run. That is change in y coordinates over change in x coordinates. Or we can write on this as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now let's look at this example. Here we need to find the slope of a line which runs through points P having coordinates 1, 2 and Q having coordinates 13, 8. Now we know that slope of a line is simply rise over run. That is change in y coordinates over change in x coordinates. And also we are aware that x1 equals to 1, x2 equals to 13, y1 equals to 2 and y2 equals to 8. So that means slope is simply 8 minus 2 over 13 minus 1 which is equals to 6 over 12. Now 6 over 12 can also be reduced as 1 over 2 that means 1 half. We can write down 1 half as 0 0.5 in decimal form. So we can say that slope of a line which runs through these two points P and Q is simply 0 0.5. Now let's look at this question. Here we need to find the slope of line AB which passes through points A having coordinates 3 and 2, B having coordinates 1 and negative 2. Now we are aware that slope of line is simply rise over run. That means change in y coordinates over change in x coordinates. So slope of a line will be simply negative 4 over negative 2. Now multiply both numerator and denominator by negative 1. We simply get our answer as 2. Now let's look at the slope of two parallel lines. Two lines are said to be parallel if their slopes are equal. So we can say that condition for two parallel lines is that M1 should be equals to M2 where M1 and M2 are the slopes of two parallel lines. Now look at this example. Here we need to find the slope of line AB which is parallel to line CD joining the point C having coordinates 1 comma 2 and D having coordinates 3 comma negative 2. For this, first of all, look at this figure. Now we take a negative number to describe a downward slope. And first of all, find the vertical distance that is rise between two points C and D, which is simply negative 2 minus of 2, which is equals to negative 4. While horizontal distance that is run between two points C and D is 3 minus 1 which is equals to 2. So we can say that slope of line CD that is rise over run is equals to negative 4 over 2. On simplifying this we get negative 2. Now we are aware that slope of two parallel lines is always same. So that means slope of line AB which is parallel to line CD is equals to negative 2. Now after parallel lines, let's move to slope of perpendicular lines. 
two lines are perpendicular if slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. That means the condition for perpendicular lines is simply m1 is equals to negative reciprocal of m2 where m1 and m2 are the slopes of two perpendicular lines. Now let's look at this example. Here we need to find the slope of line CD which is perpendicular to line AB connected by points A having coordinates 1 comma 2 and B having coordinates 3 comma negative 2. Now look at the figure given on the right. From this we conclude that segment AB slopes downward. So find the vertical distance that is rise between points A and B which is simply negative 2 minus 2 which is equals to negative 4 while the horizontal distance is equals to 2. So that means slope of line AB is equals to negative 4 over 2 which is simply negative 2. And we are also aware that condition for two perpendicular lines is that slope of one line should be equals to negative reciprocal of the other line. So that means slope of line CD which is perpendicular to line AB is simply negative of reciprocal of slope of line AB which is equals to negative of 1 over negative 2. This will give us 1 over 2 which is simply 1 half. So we can say that slope of line CD is 1 half. So always remember that slope is simply rise over run and if two lines are perpendicular then their slopes are negative reciprocals. Also parallel lines have same slope. With this we come to the end of this topic. Goodbye and see you in next session.